Marcos, Texas, between the Texas State Bobcats and the Texas Tech Red Raiders. I'm Dan Harrelson alongside Nick Taylor, and let's talk about the showdown with uh, Texas State's head football coach, Coach Dennis Franchoni. Coach, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Well, big win, uh, big win first week at Houston. You guys came out with a 30-13 to victory over the Cougars. Very balanced attack, just looking at the stats here. Your quarterback, Sean Rutherford, 100, uh, 196 yards for the air. Marcus Curry, 131 on the ground. And Isaiah Battle brought in 75 receiving yards. Talk about your impressions coming off that big win in Houston week number one. Well, you know, I've coached a lot of years, and that was a pretty good opening game uh, for any team I've coached. Uh, one turnover, four penalties, held them to one for 16 on third and fourth down. Um, you know, and to beat a team that was 13-1 and one last year and, and averaged about 600 yards a game total offense, um, it was a good start for us and, and about as good as, as we've played since I've been here. Coach, uh, obviously you're playing a, a familiar, uh, just a familiar coach in the business this weekend when Coach Tommy Tobin will come in uh, with a, a Texas Tech team that's obviously trying to make a bowl game. Uh, you played him, uh, you played him before, obviously um, in the in the in the two Iron Bowls. And uh, what impressions of uh, Coach Tuberville and the style of play that he brings, and what sort of challenges uh, does he pose to your offense and your defense? Well, Tommy's a fine football coach. He always does a great job. And, um, you know, their offense is very, very good. They got nine starters back. And I don't think we'll face a better offense than this one all year. I hope not anyway. Um, they've got big, tall receivers that have caused problems for us. So we covered them very well when I scared tons. And they were still able to go up and out and play jump ball. And we're going to have to play the ball in the air better at some point in time. And, it's a pressure on the quarterback. They're much improved on defense, and uh, they had their struggles last year on that side of the ball. But, you know, Tommy's expertise is on defense, and you knew that he would get that straight now. They, they held Northwest Louisiana uh, to less than 100 yards last week. That's hard to go to anybody. Well, bringing up uh, more about what Nick just alluded to about the two Iron Bowls, a great win in 2001 for you. Uh, going down to Auburn to defeat uh, Tommy Tuberville and his Auburn Tigers, 31-7. Great performance by Andrew Zell that day. Uh, the, the next year in 2002, which I guess is the 10-year anniversary of that game, Trey Smith uh, had a pretty good day for Tommy Tuberville and came out with the W. <laughs> Why do you think Trey Smith uh, was able to run? He was like the four-string uh, running back that year. He, he just ran wild that day, it seemed like. Well, their, their offensive line, I thought, did a great job. It was a physical game, and uh, they they did a good job at the line of scrimmage, and, and he uh, certainly was very good at finding some seams and, and finding tough yards for him. Coach, uh, getting, back, getting back to your program, you guys have had uh, a conference transition this season into the white, but you're also uh, getting prepared to uh, transition as a new member of the Sunbelt Conference. Uh, Talk about uh, that move and how the success you're having early this season could possibly, possibly be a springboard for your program 
that when this game was on the schedule, people weren't uh, thinking about it, talking about it, and then the victory over Houston last week uh, with the Big 12 school coming in. Uh, it's very exciting here in town, very exciting on our campus for our students and our fans, and it'll be a big, big evening tomorrow night. Well, uh, my, my next question is about uh, the ball Thank you. Yeah, thanks so much, Coach.